Vogue magazine is doing this uh, few minute show where they drug out this woman, Anna Wintour, right here. And she's having a conversation with Rihanna. And they just launched this yesterday. And so it has almost half a million views. And just, I think today's the 10th, so 24 hours. Oh, that is weird. Sorry, scroll. <laughs> and anyhow, you will remember that she is the one that is with the the gala event for the uh, Metropolitan, what is it called? She's, hold on a second. This event right here, the Metropolitan Muse Museum of Art in New York. There's all this attention this year being flagged to New York, whether we're talking about a thousand intense Jews in unbelief all going there to have a meeting, a conference on getting their Antichrist. Yeah. And 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 crying in unison for their Mashiach. And then they've also we've done videos on this. This is a, a place of so much it's like a lightning rod for events you'll know that the UN we, we've talked about this we've done videos you might want to go get into the channel because there's just a ton of videos and I'm definitely always looking for new subscribers and all that kind of thing if you are interested in the uh, diverse topics that we talk about including the Bible but anyhow you'll remember the UN was just on our soil to craft more policy and drawing people further into the dictates of international law and global governance and many, many other things. This is um, a place where they, gosh, back in what, 2015, they had the Pope over here on our soil giving speeches. I don't know if he was in D.C. I think he was in D.C. because I think he was a, a, a congressional thing. It's been a few years, but there's a lot of things that you could think back and, and see how New York is really that huge meeting place for all sorts of weird things. So, you know, we're being re-reminded <clears throat> in this in this Vogue video with Rihanna supposedly asking these, you know, pre-thought up questions to Anna, but it's really just a way of taking one more piece of the media and re-reminding people that the agenda is, let's click on this, the agenda is to have everyone on the same page, to have, good grief, to have so we talked about this it is it is the female clothing mixed with the male clothing all together you forgot your shirt you must be so embarrassed it was about the celebration of kabbalistic for the most part over the top fashion and so in new age and and, and enlightenment you know, Katy Perry is ridiculous, and she is embodying the, the chandelier, the light of New Age. She was also over not that long ago to to uh, some type of shindig with the Pope having this massive conference on meditation. So they're definitely using these things not just to get together and celebrate or be weird or be silly or ignore the social ills of the world and how children are starving and need food and so on and so forth. Da -da 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 -da. But really more than anything else coming into their view on how they could use their collective multi-billions of dollars when you consider all of their bank accounts together in great selfishness. They spend copious amounts of money on promotion, promoting 
themselves. <clears throat> they, they, they liken themselves to gods. This is a man who's, I don't know what he's dressed up as. I'm, I'm a little confused. But these are, these are grown adults that are dressing up like this, that think that this is how the world should live. This is how the world lives. We've talked about, so they called him best dressed man. And this is Jared Leto dressed up as the whore of Babylon holding his head. This is for the, he should have had a little sign on that said, Noah hide sub laws. We're going to get you. I don't even know what to say about that. So this is where they go. You know, this is where they're saying camp, you know, over the top. Um, do you remember the Batman? The, the, hold on. The Batman TV show where the, yeah. I'm not going to play all this, but this, this would be an example of camp, like overdoing it in this sort of weird. That's okay, Batman. Don't worry, I'll take care of you. You get the point. Well, anyhow, you know, she looks to me like that's a pool of blood, Cardi B. There was a lot going on in this, and it really was messaging for Kabbalah. It was, it was messaging for their agenda. <clears throat> it was the total... That was not part of it. I don't know why they coupled that with it. It was the total celebration of humanity and ridiculousness because these people believe themselves God. They've been illuminated. They've been initiated into the Masonic worldview and, and religion. And the year before, now we talked about this, they were actually playing out a biblical scene here but between the dragon and its desire to eat the Revelation woman, which historically Mary gives birth to Jesus. She was actually big time pregnant at that moment. And now Paul tells us that in typology that it is in Galatians 4 from Isaiah 54 1, it is New Jerusalem our mother, which is not a real person. It's a personification of the covenant that gives birth to the heir, the, the born again Christian. So anyhow, this is the birth child thing here of Anna Win Wintour. She also made it into a Kanye West video in which she sculpted out a, or somebody for him, sculpted out a bed full of a whole bunch of diverse people including Donald Trump, this woman, um, Taylor Swift, and they were all in bed together, this big, huge bed, almost kind of like, it felt like a last supper from hell, but in bed, and, and they were basically telling you in visual format that all the politicians and all the people in Hollywood, all the uh, media that promotes it, they're all in bed together, meaning that's an American way of saying they're all on the same agenda. And so they use this opportunity. I'm wondering why they're flashing this. Like, why are they taking the dime to bring Rihanna into this and ask these stupid questions? These, you know, just completely unimportant, vapid, you know, who cares questions. And it's really so that they could reinforce once again to half a million people that we're about diversity we're about sustainability. So all this stuff that you've been hearing about the global agenda, all these, um, and we have videos on it. So just go check the channel. There's so much information about how they're crafting our reality for us. This is to reinforce within the people's minds and so see it's diversity, exclamation, 
And diversity now means that everything is completely equal, valid, accepted, and true, except Christianity. So that's what's going on. I'll just play this little clip for you. Um, she also will talk... about uh, her favorite outfit. Rihanna asks her, what, what is your favorite outfit that I wore? And it was, uh, it was definitely beautiful, but it was weird. It was this female, femi, Nazi power kind of, not Nazi, but in terms of females taking over in a discourse, it was Rihanna dressed up like the Pope, which was really creepy. But they got to get in this these messages that they already did this show for. Where did our globe go? Our diversity globe. We're not being diverse enough. Oh, it was right before. Who's your favorite designer, Sarah? They care about responsibility. They care about diversity. They care about inclusivity. And outside of the U.S., I would think... So I'm telling you that this whole little four minutes of stupid discourse about, you know, very superficial things that don't matter about her winter, not winter, her, her, her gala was to draw you back into the agenda to remind you. And so she's asked, you know, the question, what designers that are, that are new and up and coming does she like? And so this is where she has to put in that they are into sustainability. So this is all your agenda twenty one agenda 2030 talk and it's these goals that that they want to sculpt the earth with that a lot of them not all of them but a lot of them are against the bible the ones that aren't against the bible are actually just lying to people so when they go we want to end poverty that's code for well we're going to end poverty by killing off the people see then we don't have all these useless eaters is really what they're saying. It's a false peace, and God's word warned about it long in advance. So she has to get in that that we uh, have to be inclusive. We have to be inclusive, which means everyone is equal, valid, and true. All paths are are true except Christianity. That's what these words mean now. Think about Marine Sarah in Paris or Grace Wells Bonner in London and Kenneth Eyes in Nigeria. All of them are looking at fashion in new and different ways and causing us to think about fashion in new and different ways. What is your biggest fashion regret? We all need to stand by our past fashion choices, Rihanna. Do you cook? I also want to know. Who, who cares? And even Rihanna is so uncomfortable in this. You can just see it all over her face. They care about responsibility. They care about diversity. They care about inclusivity. And outside of the U.S., I would think about... So this was just a reminder to bring you back into... The, these are the goals that we're going for. And you need to be a part of this. This is where society is going. Rihanna, do you hope to have a baby soon? Uh, I don't think about stuff like that, but I don't know, God, God's plan. But I look forward to all of the pregnancy rumors after this interview. <laughs> okay, that was actually a, uh, a funny... That was a funny comment. I, I don't know if there's more to it than this. I know that on another level, the earth is, they want the earth to be pregnant with this new birth of this new humanity. So I don't know if that's part of it or if she's just legitimately just asking a normal question, uh, which I don't know. How old is this woman? Like 28 or something like that? I could be totally wrong. But, um, that's a funny question. Rihanna, if you were to get married, who would you ask to design your wedding dress? Go. It would probably be a collaboration between myself and Galliano. Of course. 
Um, I do think it's interesting that she just for a second highlighted, uh, you know, God has a plan. So they're seeding little things into you when you take this in and your brain is so amazingly complex that it's, it's picking all these things up and it's, it's in the back of your mind for when they, they need this to manipulate you, to call people into the, the goal of this new worldwide focus 